What is the right time? Walk when it's great to crawl. Play when it's great to write. What is the right time? To be a born talent. To be a future champion. To walk alone. Playing under 16 at 12. Facing 20,000 balls with a half-grown spine. What is the right time? Too little to be selected. Too talented to be rejected. The paper's selectors all asking, what is the right time? The right time is when you do it. They say you're too young to play, but you're always old enough to dream. Don't worry about what the future will look like. Just prepare for it. Fearless plans from Aegis Federal Life Insurance help you and your family prepare for the future. Hello and welcome to a very special conversation with Pulela Gopichand. The draw has now been announced and we are talking within an hour of the draws getting announced. First things first, uh, Gopi, Sindhu has a draw which is sort of say, you know, going forward gets trickier. Uh, Pronoy has a reasonable draw. Laksha has drawn Jonathan Christie. The men's draw doubles has not been announced yet. And Ashwini and Tanisha have a tricky draw. Your first thoughts on having seen the draw, what are you sensing? I think, uh, yeah, you've said it right. It's a tricky draw. A draw. Um, I think um, with the Olympics and with the way the draw is, I think uh, if you're lucky if you don't draw anybody in the initial rounds, uh, as far as the men's singles are concerned. Um, but yeah, that I think uh, Laksh has been a little unlucky with Jonathan Christie there. Having said that, um, it's better to get Jonathan Christie in the beginning of the draw than the later part of the draw, because uh, he's somebody who's actually played well as the tournament goes by. Uh, but he's had some great results. Last All England was fantastic. But I think post that, I think Lakshas had better results than him. So I would fancy Lakshas' chances against Jonathan Christie, uh, especially since it's the early rounds. Um, that's one. Uh, I think Ashwini and uh, uh, Tanisha, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Um, yes, uh, you have uh, two tough players there, Kim and Kong, and uh, also I think uh, Shida and Matsumoto. I think that's that's going to be um, a good 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 draw. But uh, you need to pull out uh, one solid match, and uh, I that that's that's how it is because you get into the quarters straight away in the double segment. It's like thirteen seeds. If you end up having uh, a seed. Then the, if you have a seed uh, seeded, uh, if you are seeded, then I think you are at an advantage. Um, that's where it is, and uh, yeah, but um, yeah, that's one extra match. But having said that, I think uh, when I look at Laksha, when I look at Sindhu or Pranoy, uh, or Ashwini uh, or Tanisha and uh, Satvik Chirag, I just see that they're all prospective medal winners, and when you are in that bracket where you're looking for a medal, I think draw should be not of a big concern because um, you have to beat them anyway. So there are three groups in there which are dummy groups. So the person who draws those dummy groups gets a buy. There is group O, there is group K and there is group N which don't have any players. So the 16 groups in real in actually there, but only 13 groups are really there. So the 13 plus the three dummy groups get in. So the three dummy groups actually have three buys for the players who they meet. So in effect, Laksha's group, he will have to beat Jonathan Christie to be able to make the round of 16. That's the move. Yes, that's correct. That's and correct. you are confident that facing Christie early on in the tournament is much better than facing Christie later on. Yeah, Christie, if you look at his results in the last year, I think he's had some uh, couple of fantastic tournaments, but actually he's got very bad results as well. A lot of first round losses he's had. So I I, I would think that he play, he had a very good um, uh, All England and um, his, his he played really well, but 
I think after that also his form has not been great. So I would really fancy Lakshya's chances there. Okay, Pra moving on to Pranoy coming out of Chikungunya, trying his you know getting back to full fitness. Uh, reasonably, reasonably good group. Uh, your thoughts on Pranoy? I think uh, uh, he is looking far better. I think uh, every day in training he has improved in the last week or so. So I think uh, we could have been in a much worse position. Uh, that's how I look at it, and uh, I think happy to uh, s- um, see that. But I think it's it's the Olympics, so you can't really say that an easy draw is an easy. There's like easy players out there, but uh, I think uh, this is a draw. I think uh, we will take. Coming to Satvik Chirag, I mean, we've not yet seen the men's uh, doubles draw, but uh, your thoughts because they are. I mean, you don't depend on the draw if you're favourites. You have to go on and win a medal. I mean, you you beat anybody. Correct. Correct. I think it's really uh, strange. They now have uh, to have five people in a group um, because uh, then the group uh, of the miss of the BWF for the calculation, they have two pairs from France, which actually will be participating. And that makes four groups, three groups of four. And one group of five, so it'll be good to actually avoid that group which has five because that's an extra match to play. That's one. Uh, I think we'll have to wait. The date for the draw is not yet out, so we'll have to wait for that to come out. But um, yeah, I think uh, it'll be good to actually have that one extra match lesser, um, uh, which which could help. Uh, but uh, yes, you said it right. Um, they are one of the favorites. Definitely, and I do expect them to progress all the way to the medal. Now, um, yes, they've got. Depending on the conditions, I would really see who is a is a tough opponent or an easy opponent or um, head to heads and stuff won't matter as much because the conditions matter and there how they start off with matters. But yes, there are a few players. The Indonesians are there. The uh, yeah, the Japanese, the Koreans, uh, the uh, Danes. I think there are a few players in there whom we need to be stick our neck out and win, and uh, that will be important. But just to clarify, because in the final stretch they are both fit, they are ready. I mean, obviously you know yes. everything. So is it is it all on track in terms of preparation? Because that's all you can control. You control the controllables. Are they ready for Paris? Yes, I, I would think uh, they are, and uh, we've had a good stint. Uh, Matthias is here. And uh, we have, uh, in the last uh, week, we have had a tournament uh, which we organized internally for them. And uh, they're fit and doing well. And um, yeah, I think, uh, I hope uh, we come back with some good results. Uh, Final couple of questions, Gopi. When are you leaving? What's the plan? Give us a a kind of sense that, you know, when is the team? What's the final 10 days like? Because that's what is left for the game. So what's the home stretch like? How are you going to approach the games now? Because it's all almost, uh, you know, round the corner. We'll be uh, reaching on 21st back, uh, 21st or 22nd uh, into the village. Uh, we have Lakshya training in France. We have Sindhu training in Germany. Uh, we have uh, the rest of the players training here in Hyderabad. And uh, we'll all be um, reaching there on the 22nd morning. Uh, we've had a good training stint. Now it's almost tapering off to the last week. So you just ensure that um, your kind of um, uh, niggles are not there and then you're, you're kind of really pumped up for the event. Um, some good match preparations have been happening. And um, I think each one uh, has their own uh, team of um, uh, strength and conditioning guys, coaches, physios working and uh, everyone definitely is geared up for the Olympics. Fine, final uh, final question. Uh, 2012, the colour was different. 2016, the colour was different. 2021, we got the medal, but the colour went back to something. What about this time? I mean, I don't want to push you. I really, but at the same time, all of India, you're smiling. And uh, all of India, I mean, we are talking about the best games, the 10 medals. And, and badminton has sort of contributed for three consecutive Olympics. Hand on heart, you're confident, right? Yes, yes. I think, uh, uh, God willing, um, more medals and better medals. Ah, lovely. That's my headline. More medals and better medals. Look forward to catching up with you, Pulela Gopichand, in the village or outside the village on the 23rd or the 24th, the moment we reach 
and all the luck to you all the confidence to you and give us one more give us two more we'll catch up with you soon enough where, when we go to paris thank you very much for your time appreciate appreciate and look forward to catching up in paris thank you very much thank you very much thank Thanks. you